better, and now at 141 pounds, we move on. Paul Konechny from South Dakota State and the favorite, Brahman Creighton of UNO. He is the three-time All-American, the defending national champion, the three-time North Central Conference champion. The accolades for Brahman Creighton would fill an entire page, RJ. Well, he's a four-time All-American. Uh, as a matter of fact, he's just the second four-time NCAA All-American in UNO history, so that's quite an accomplishment for him. I don't think I'd be letting the, the, uh, the cat out of the bag. I, I've heard a lot of rumors going around this weekend that Jody Strittmatter, who we just saw win the 125-pound title, is possibly transferring to a, a Division I school. Would not surprise me the way we saw him wrestle. He was a dominant performer here. I saw, I saw several Division I coaches uh, working around the, uh, the arena this weekend, and uh, it's kind of sad. They're almost re recruiting this tournament like it was the junior college national <laughs> tournament, which is something you never saw before, but like we've seen in the last couple of years with Division II ranks. Brahman Creighton, Class A state champion with Miller North back in 1994 in Nebraska. High school record of 89 and 19. And he has improved upon that, if you can believe that, at UNO. He's won 147 here at UNO. Oh, no, he's up to 150 now. Well, that's right. He has, he has won three, three here weekend. in this. That's right. He got his 150th earlier on today. Brahman Creighton against Paul Konechny. They have met many times as they're both in the North Central Conference. And Creighton, 6-0 and oh, lifetime versus Konechny. And four of those came this year. So this is actually the fifth meeting of these two wrestlers this year. Uh, they met a couple times in open tournaments during the first semester. They wrestled each other in the duel. And they wrestled each other in the, in the conference tournament. So they are no strangers to each other. RJ, if you've lost to someone four times already, that's got to be in the back of your mind. Or maybe in the front of your mind. <laughs> it's on the, the front. It's on the front. There's a, warn a stall warning, and Brown and Creighton gets the takedown. So a double whammy for Paul Konechny from South Dakota State because he gets warned for stalling, and at the, just as that happens, Brown and Creighton shoots in on an extremely quick double leg takedown to take a 2-0 lead. We've seen this the last couple of days, and you saw an example of it there, of how quick Brahman Creighton is. His takedowns in this tournament have sent oohs and ahs throughout the crowd. He is one of the quickest and one of the most demonstrative at that. Without a doubt, his strength is on his feet. Uh, in his quarterfinal match, uh, he beat Marcus Mays of Central Washington 16 to six in what I would call a takedown clinic. He has indeed put on a clinic, and he's put on a clinic for so many years at UNO now four-time All-American now with his appearance here in the finals and just a terrific career wrapping up for Brahman Creighton, but he wants to wrap it up with a national championship. It's 2-1, Creighton with the lead and out of bounds they go. They'll go back to the middle of the mat. One minute to go in period number one and UNO absolutely has to have this win for the team race. If they don't get a win from Creighton, they're pretty much done in the team hunt. Yeah, without a doubt, this is one they expected to win and they have to win to have any hopes at all. And what they really would like is some bonus points uh, if Creighton would, were to get a major decision or, or even better, a technical fall or a fall. Uh, Brahman Creighton really not known that much as a pinner. Uh, again, like I said, he's very strong on, on his feet. He, he's, he's strong at all aspects of, of, of the wrestling, the bottom and the top position, but his strength is on his feet. He wrestles most of the match on his feet. In the semifinals, he, in fact, had to get a takedown in the last 20 seconds to win the match. Uh, over Travis Shives of, of Mankato to beat him seven to four. Creighton beat an unseated Marcus Mays, and then he beat Travis Shives, as mentioned, and also an unseated Lamont Tucker to get here to the championship. Konechny had a bye in the first round, beat unseated Tony Pelner, and then beat the three seed, Tony Clark of Pittsburgh Johnstown. It's 2 1. Brahman Creighton with a leader at 141. 17 Seven. seconds to go here in the first period. Creighton against Konechny. Again in college, the, the first period is three minutes, followed by two in the second and two in the third. If they would have to go into overtime, it's a two minute sudden death period on their feet. We haven't, had to, we haven't seen one of those yet in the finals, but uh, it wouldn't surprise me if we've seen a couple down the road. We have seen several over the course of wrestling this past couple of days in the, as this tournament has unfolded. There's a, there's a look at uh, assistant coach Ron Higdon from the University of Nebraska at Omaha. He was an All-American here back in 1989 or 90, I he believe. Hedge on the side of Younger. <laughs> That's always a good bet. And there's All a right, we'll, we'll, give him, we'll give him 90. 
Brahman Creighton cautioned for a false start. As we mentioned, he gets two of those, and then a point is assessed on the third. Creighton's so quick, it almost looks like he false starts even when he does it. And he's nearly got it out. Mm -hmm. He turned it around, he got the escape. Did a really nice job right on the edge of staying in bounds. Konechny was trying to shove him out of bounds without giving up the escape. Brahman able to stop and turn around and face him to get the escape, take the lead three to one now here in the second period. That, that escape only took him actually nine seconds to get out, so very quick escape. And now we've got a stop in action. The official stops it for a moment and sends him back to neutral. The official in this match is Jim Warren from Newport Beach, California. Decided to come here and see some snow. He's being, he's being assisted by Keith Pullman from Charles City, Iowa. I guarantee you he doesn't see much snow in Newport Beach. <laughs> According to the weather, he's not going to see much snow if he sticks around here for the next few days either. About a minute and a half to go in the second period, and it's 3-1 Brahman Creighton of UNO with the lead over Paul Konechny of South Dakota State. Another double, great double late by Brahman Creighton. Just absolutely overpowering Konechny. And that's what we've seen from Brahman Creighton, not only this weekend, but his entire career at UNO. He is so quick with the takedown. He really catch you off guard, even if you've wrestled him like Konechny has six times already. He makes it look so easy that it's almost like he can get it whenever he wants to. I'm sure Mike Denny is uh, encouraging him to get it very often here in this one, at least to get a major decision. It's 5-1 right now, 103 to go in the second period. There's Ron Higdon, assistant coach for UNO. There you see Konechny will start in the down position. 103 to go, second period. Huge crowd on hand here tonight at the Sapfield House, and they're enjoying the national championships. And there's the escape for Konechny as Creighton's just trying to get him set up again. Konechny, again, an All-American last year, placed six, so this is quite an improvement for him. And he's just a sophomore, so he's got one thing to look forward to, that Brahman Creighton is graduating this year, and he'll still have two more years to, to work for national titles. Not saying that he's out of this match yet, but... I'm sure he's going to be the first to send Brahman Creighton a good luck card in the rest of your career, too. <laughs> graduation, your graduation yes. card. That's right. Goodbye in the NCC. He's had his troubles with Creighton 0-6 lifetime. Konechny and Creighton. It's kind of Creighton in his match in the semifinals against, there's a stall warning. Against Brahman Creighton against now. Brahman Creighton. So each one has received a stall warning in this match. I, I was talking to the University of Minnesota State Mankato coach after the semifinals. Brahman Creighton beat their Travis Shive seven to four, and he said they had wrestled Brahman Creighton ten times. Was zero and ten against Brahman Creighton and oh, Paul Konechny. Now watch this. The takedown. Keep an eye on this. Look how quick and what power he uses to drive Konechny down into the mat. I need to correct myself. During a blood timeout, the coaches can coach the wrestlers. During injury timeout, they cannot. So. 152 here in the third period. It's 5-2. Brahman Creighton with the lead. And how important was it that Jody Strip Matter at 125 was able to get the major decision over Mac LaRock? That could end up well, being I, the key in this team race. Looking at the team, the team scores early, I said this title, this team title could be decided by one half of a point. And that could be the difference maker, him getting that major decision. 5-2, crowd moaning and groaning. There's a good look at Mike Denny, and what a career he has enjoyed at UNO, one of the most respected wrestling coaches regardless of division in the entire nation. And now what the, it looked like, there's a quick escape by Konechny, but it looks like what the, the UNO coaches want Creighton to do is, is try to get two or three more takedowns in order to extend his lead and work for that major. They really would like to get the bonus point for a major decision after Strip Matter got a bonus earlier. In Konechny from, from South Dakota State, they're the third place team. And there it is, the takedown. There's a takedown. We've got a minute 15 to go. Time has stopped. He's got 52 seconds of riding time. He only needs eight more seconds to get a riding time point, which would make it eight to three. If he cuts him loose again, that would be eight to four. He'd have to actually, he's gonna actually, actually have to get two more takedowns in order to get a major. Now, this is important for South Dakota State. I mean, if they were able to win this match because they're in third place 
They give trophies for the top three here. They don't give one for fourth place. Central Oklahoma is only a half a point behind them. And Mankato, uh, Minnesota State Mankato is only three points behind. So there's a couple teams. There's a battle for third place as well. We'll have to keep a close eye on that. Creighton, as you could see, trying to get that takedown. And he's really working very hard. Has to be kind of aggressive going for that major decision. Maybe a little more aggressive than you'd care to be leading in the third period of a national championship. He's got riding time, so he's going he's gonna to cut Konechny loose there and start working for the takedowns. Scores 7-4 to four on the scoreboard, but he, again, Creighton's got riding time. So it's eight to four. He's up by four points. A takedown would make it ten to four. That'd be six. If he cut him loose, it'd be ten to five. He, he don't, I think he'd have to actually get three takedowns. Unless he got some near fall, which he had an opportunity right there. There's a takedown for Creighton. That makes it ten to four with the riding time point. But he's got to get him up. 35 seconds to go. And let's see if they call either a stall or a stalemate here. And there There's is a, a stalling stall. against Brom and Creighton. So one point for Konechny, and that's pretty much going to put the major decision probably out of reach unless Brown and Creighton were able to, to put Konechny onto his back. And he got the escape point as well. Yeah, so now so it's 10-6 with the riding time. 10-6 with riding time. He's got to almost get the near fall in order to, or the pin at this point, to get bonus points in this one. 9-6, the score, Brown and Creighton going for another national championship for UNO. He's got 10 seconds to go in period number three. He's got, he's got a near side cradle locked on. If he could get some back points out of this. He gets the takedown, but he's not going to get any back points. And that is the end of the match at 141. Brahman Creighton, the national champion again, with a 12-6 win, gets the decision. And everyone's going to be very happy with that, but I'm sure Mike Denny would have loved to have seen a major decision as he would have just needed one more take. Down. There's a look at the, the, that was Brian Zanders, a former national champ from UNO, who was actually Brahman Creighton's cousin. One of the reasons that Brahman Creighton came to UNO was to wrestle uh, with and behind his cousin, Brian Zanders, who was also a national champ for UNO. And a happy Mike Denny and Brahman Creighton embrace as national champion and coach one more time as Brahman Creighton closes out his career as a national champion again. And what a way to go out for Brahman Creighton of UNO. As the national champion, he came in defending his championship crown, and he has defended it very well, thank you. And now UNO is just, I believe, a half point behind now in the team standings, 106 to 105.5 by our count. That's right. And there's still, again, UNO has Chris Blair coming up at 165 pounds. But Pitt Johnstown has two more wrestlers with Troy Barbush 